Hello, my name is Anam Clark and I am the founder of The Designer's Studio. In today's tutorial, we will be learning how to make a decorative corniche. have a simple SketchUp model of a living room. Now if I want to create a corniche around the edge of this space, I'm going to have to trace around the shape of my ceiling in order to use it as a template. So I'm simply going to get into a view and leave a little bit of space to the side. With my rectangle tool or line tool, depending on the shape of your space, I'm just going to create a template. Now note the template was on the inside of my wall. I'm then going to move this to the side, or if you prefer, you can work within the space. I tend to move all my working areas to the side so I don't accidentally create any issues underneath myself. I'm then going to offset by the width of the corniche. In this case, I'm going to pretend my corniche is 200 by 200. So I've offset it inside at this time. I'm then going to create a little piece of paper at the size of 200 by 200. So with my line tool, I'm just drawing on my green and my blue at the size of 200 each time. I'm then going to delete the inner face of both my offset and the main area. I'm going to zoom into this space and draw the shape of my corniche. This piece of paper will help me draw straight and create a lovely face. So here I'm just going to model any shape. Obviously, if you have something more specific, you will do it to that exact form. So I'm just using my arc tool, making sure I'm on my face. And I'm actually just going to use my line tool to finish it up here. So once you are done, you should have two separate geometries. I'm just going to select the extra geometry I don't need and delete it. I will then delete the five outer lines. Select the entire pathway and make sure the corniche shape is deselected. I'll go to tools, follow me, and then click on the face of the corniche. Once you have done that, a beautiful corniche shape will generate. You can also use this technique for wall moldings and furniture decoration. I'm then going to make this into a group, and very simply with my move tool, move point to point, and add that in. So when I turn on my ceiling tag, and I can turn my walls, doors and windows off, I can see how beautifully that fits in to my space. Absolutely perfect. In today's tutorial, you have learned how to make a decorative molding. Stay tuned for more tutorials and don't forget to subscribe.